All right, Shalom. Shalom. This is GMS Tampa. All right. I'm the brother Mike Allah. Oh, yeah. I am. Yeah. We want to give all praises to Yahweh. Yahweh. Bashem. Yahweh. Shai. Bashem. Yahweh. 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 So I pretty much go with the spirit, you know, about the spirit of truth being declared upon the planet Earth. There's nothing these devils can do about it. You know, like it says in Proverbs 21st chapter, there's no wisdom, no understanding, no counsel against the Lord. All right, so, uh, let's go ahead and up there. Okay. Yep. So we're going to start in the book of uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 13. It's a quick one, 13 verse 8. For we can do nothing against the truth, but for the truth. Yep, so everything that... You know, Esau, Edom, or everybody else with their own mind think you're doing as far as the manipulation or control of what goes on the planet Earth. There's nothing that can be done against the truth, but only for it. Because everything is always according to the counsel of the Lord. So it's always about His will, who has resisted His will. So no one can resist the will of the Heavenly Father, y'all about to decide. So going into time now being the season of truth, the spirit of truth, which the world cannot receive, is being prophesied unto you by the men of the Lord, which are the servants of prophets, keeping the prophets falling down, you know? So what we're saying, it cannot be spoken against. Because why? Because this is what the Lord is for. All right? This is a second Edges chapter 6 and verse 28. As for faith. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, sorry, 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 sorry. Uh, second Edges chapter 6 and verse 25. Whosoever remaineth from all these that I have told thee shall escape. And what do you think that uh, uh, what is referring to talking about all this hell is going to have upon the planet Earth? You know, those that remain, those that escape, talking about the Lord's elect. Escape when all this judgment given have upon the planet Earth. Because you read on up, talking about children fighting against each other as enemies, you know, and so on and so forth. You know, but Esau being the end of the world, the Jacob is being that follow it, you know. Second chapter 6, verse 25. Whosoever remaineth from all these and have told thee shall escape and see my salvation and the end of your world. The end of this, the end of this uh, era, you know, what was going to our video earlier, the brothers did. It's the end of the age, you know, the end of this world, you know. How this place is run, going into Bill 924, reference giving hand to the wicked, this wicked world is getting ready to end, all right? And that's when we always uh, mention the elect. So we hear, you know, we, we hear brothers, they make their videos and they always talk about the elect, you know, the hopeful elect, the elect, the elect. Yep. That's what we're talking about, that's uh, escape those perils. That's the, the, and that's, that's what I'm doing that matter right now. The Lord said let the most who care because born in vain. The Lord's concerned about people that are actually going to live from this. Because there are going to be the people that's going to be ruling the planet Earth to come. So that's why it's about the elect the whole time. People are going to be saved because we know the majority of people on the planet Earth are not going to be saved. They're, they're going to perish, you know. So that's why I mentioned this too. The people who, are, are, who this message pertains to, you know, again, the elect. Verse 26. And the men that are received shall see it who have not tasted death from their birth. Uh, you know, and, that's, and again, going into the whole for elect, you know, there's scriptures that, that say that not everybody's gonna, gonna take death. All right? There's some that are gonna, that are gonna, that are gonna be spared from death altogether and brought directly into the kingdom of heaven. Read that again. John. Second Edges 6 and 26. And the men that are received shall see it who have not tasted death from their birth. Right? And the heart of the inhabitants shall be changed and turned into another meaning. Verse 27, for evil shall be put out and deceit shall be quenched. That's right, yeah man. Um, evil is gonna be put out of the earth. And deceit, who's the deceiver? What is, in, 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 what's another word for deceiver? It's the devil, okay? It says that's gonna be quenched, that's gonna be taken out of the earth. No more deceit, no more deception, a lie. Uh, uh, trickery and fuckery, all that's going to be taken out and quenched off the off, off the face of the earth. Yes. All right, we're not going to we're not going to be sitting in America, um, looking at CNN and looking at these all these lies that that Edomites are telling us about what's happening in the world. No, everything everything all that's going to be taken off the earth and it's going to be pure righteousness. Read it one more time. Second uh, Edges chapter six and verse twenty seven. For evil shall be put out and deceit shall be quenched. Yeah, real quick, you know, because uh, the reason why Esau is coming out with so much deception now, and he's trying to cover up so many things, is because you know that he has but a short time. His time of deceiving, going into Revelation 18, I'll get that real quick. Because this is when he was loose, uh, 
given on to do. Okay, this is his old duty. Okay? Um, this is uh, Revelation 20. And, uh, where is it? Um, uh, Satan Luke. Can you see? Go out here. Where's that? I'm trying to get it. Okay, here it is. This is Revelation, chapter 20. And I'm starting at verse 1. It says, And I saw an angel come down from heaven, having the feet of the bottom of the pit, and a great chain in his hand. And he laid hold on the dragon, that old serpent, which is the devil and Satan, and bound him a thousand years, and cast him into the bottom of the pit, and set him up, and set a seal up on him, that he should deceive the nations no more, till the thousand years should be fulfilled. And after that, he should be loose the real season. And so what did he do? Once he got loose, what did he do? He prayed that he deceived the nation. Because that was what that was what was getting on to him to do. Alright, so now now in these last so I can, now in these last days what's happening is Esau knows that his time of deception is running out. Because through that deception, Esau is trying to is trying to take over the entire planet Earth. Okay? And this is how, you know, the uh Job 924, the earth is getting onto the hand of the wicked. Okay, Esau is trying to just go above and beyond what was given unto him, okay, through his deception, okay, but that time is running short, and it's getting ready to come a time, and it's already that time, because you got Jake waking up throughout the four corners of the earth, man, okay, what, you got to so? Yeah, uh, this is 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, and I'll start at verse 5, remember ye not that when I was yet with you, I told you these things, and now you know that withholding, that he might be revealed in his time. Yep. He's being revealed in his time. That time is now. All right, that time is right now. It's never. It was never a time before for Esau to get exposed until now. Now in these last days, starting from Abu Bidin's on down, and since 1969, all right, the late 60s, all right, the Esau Edom has been exposed. Okay. Yeah. Verse seven, for the mystery of iniquity already. That's a lot to read again. 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 7. For the mystery of iniquity do it already work. Yep. And only he who now let it will let until he be taken out of the way. Yep. He who now let it shall let, man. It's talking about the most high. The most high allowed him to do what he had, what he saw even was doing, man. Okay? Verse 8. And then shall the wicked be revealed whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth. And the Lord is consuming of Esau even with the spirit of his mouth. You got people like Nick Cannon, uh, uh, who else is coming up, celebrities are, you know, the uh, uh, Sean Jackson yeah. from the, the, the Eagles. Right? Now they're starting, now you have everybody literally uh, waking up to this truth. And, and, and they're, they're, they're pushing that truth out, all right? And it, it, it's being exposed because you've had the prophets already doing it. Right, but now you got these so-called celebrities trying to get trying to get up on game. Okay? But it's not gonna happen, man. These celebrities you guys are just, you know, uh, doing a futile thing because you, that's not your job. Your job is not the job of, uh, of a prophet, man. Okay? Second uh, Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 8. The then shall that wicked be revealed. Whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his, with the spirit of his mouth, and shall destroy the and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Read that again. Read that again, though. Uh, Second Thessalonians two and eight. And then shall that wicked be revealed, who the Lord shall who the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. The brightness of the Lord's coming. All right. Brightness of the Lord's coming, you know, you know, we see all the brightness coming, all the light and this shit, you know, and, and you see how it's struck when, when the brother. When the Lord comes, read it one more time. God. Right. Second Thessalonians two and eight. Yeah, see, it's rough, man. You know, and, you know the spirit has got on, 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 you know, the, the sword to come. You know, you know, we were planning on giving the lesson anyway, but. You know, and it just happened that way, but, you know, go ahead, read it one more yeah, time. Yeah, the audio's coming out, too. Yeah, I'm going to go with it. 2 Thessalonians 2. 2 Thessalonians 2 and 8. 
confidential that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth. The wicked shall be revealed. Okay? Who the Lord shall consume with the what is it? With the spirit of his mouth. Spirit of his mouth. The prophet. The prophet, son. That's, that's us, brother. You brothers out there on the highways and hedges, the ones out there putting up these videos, breaking down the prophecies, breaking down these scriptures, all right, in truth and sincerity, all right? That's the Lord, that's that's the spirit of the Lord. That's the, that's the Lord Yahweh Shem Yitzhak speaking to you. Okay, go ahead. We're going to the 12th, the second chapter. You know, the Lord's put the spirit upon all flesh and they may have dreams and prophesy. You know? We try to wrap this up. Yeah, let me, uh, let me read it again. And then we'll get, we'll get. Yep. Second Thessalonians 2 and 8. Then shall the wicked be revealed, for the Lord shall consume the spirit of his mouth and destroy the brightness of his coming. That's right. Destroying the brightness of his coming. Yeah, how about you? We're gonna go ahead and close this lesson out. You know, second uh, chapter six, verse twenty-eight. After faith, it shall flourish. Yep. Corruption shall be overcome, and the truth, which has been so long without proof, shall be declared. Right. Come on. So with that, you know, I know, you know, Lord willing was edifying on the somebody out there. We want to, we want to give all praise on the glory to Yahweh. Yahweh, 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 Double to the elders, talk to great brothers out there. And again, um, you know, hey, you know.